There are so many videos on the internet telling you that you can create a website using ChatGPT, which is true, but not many of them telling you on how you can deploy the website to the internet so anybody can visit your creation. And in this video, I'll show you how you can create a simple basic website with ChatGPT and how you can deploy that to the internet completely for free. Okay, here's how. I'm going to create a simple website using this prompt and I think the most important element on this prompt is actually this section. I want the HTML, CSS, and JS or JavaScript file to be in one file. So this is very useful if you want to simplify the deployment process. But if you prefer to separate all the three files, feel free to do so, especially if you know how to handle these files. But for anyone that never created a website before, I do recommend to just make sure that the html css and javascript is in one file and for everything else like the description of the website it's really up to you i do recommend to be as specific as possible and here be sure to enable the write or code mode this is basically the canvas mode in chatgpt that later will show you how you can preview the website and i think this is very useful so you can kind of see what the website would look like before actually deploying the entire website now this process will take quite a while depending on the length of the code and also the complexity of the website but i'll show you later how you can preview and then how you can put this code to a website and then deploy it to the internet all right it is done it's actually very quick and this is not a very long code and if you want to change anything you can actually just ask ai via prompting right here and if you want to preview the website just click the preview button and you'll see the website and sometimes it might ask you to allow permission to uh, for the, the code to access certain files from the internet just click allow that's usually some dependencies or some some items like pictures or uh, some codes but basically just click allow and this is the result it is okay although it's not complete but if you want to change anything again you can always ask ai to uh, to, do, to make some changes via prompting right here now assuming that you are happy with the result you can actually just copy the code and then deploy the website now to do that i'm going to go back to the code and i'm going to copy and after that you can open a folder on your computer and in this folder i'll create another folder let's call this one let's say gardening website and then enter and then open the folder you want to create a new text document file text document and let's call the, this one index.txt we're going to change the format to be .html later but let's open the file first okay i'm going to paste the file the code right here click save and close and here on windows you can actually change the extension or the format of the file uh, you can i think you can click the view menu and then enable the file name extensions that's why I, I can see the .txt extension and that allows us to rename the file to be .html so .html and there you go and after that you want to go back and right click and create a zip file of this folder just click ok and we have this zip file that we can upload to a website or a platform that will allow you to deploy the website now there are many platforms that you can use uh, first you can use tiny.host this is one of the best website platforms out there and it is free it is also the simplest you can just drag and draw the file into this area and you can provide a website now it asked me to log in but i don't have any account but as far as i know it is quite easy another option that you can try is netlify and i do recommend to use netlify.com because it is free it is also has plenty of features and i happen to have an account on this platform so i will just log into my, to my account and i'll deploy my website okay now let's deploy a website i guess i'm going to scroll down just drag and draw the file let me show you like that just wait until the website is, is fully deployed well that was quick you can open the website and this is the result of course there are many other things that you might want to change like some settings and also the domain names but again everything is available on netlify so that's what i like about this platform because 
almost everything you need is available right here except maybe for designing website you still need to use chat gpt but other than that that's basically how you can create a website with chat gpt and then deploy the website to the internet using free uh, platforms like tiny.house and netlify so if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a great day